I'm Michelle and this is Mishmash. Today I'm filming a book versus movie review on Labor Day by Joyce Menard. I read this book first and then watched the movie, which is on Netflix, which should be available, I'm not sure in every country or not, but um, it should be available to you. And I wanted to talk about uh, how I felt about it and what the difference between the book and the movie was. So as a small introduction, this book um, was published in 2009 by Joyce Menard, who was an American author, and the movie was made in 2013, starring Kate Winslet. A co-worker of mine recommended this book to me, and we sometimes share a similar taste in books, and she made it sound pretty intriguing, so I wanted to check it out. It was a pretty quick read as well. The whole book is set over Labor Day weekend, Thursday to Tuesday, so it has that um, really good momentum. In their city there's a heat wave during the Labor Day weekend, so the whole book has this kind of um, hot and sticky, you can just feel the heat uh, and the oppression of that heat, <laughs> um, and they're kind of stuck inside their house all weekend. So as a quick recap of the plot, um, this woman and her son, who, her 12 year old son is the narrator, um, although I should point out that the 12 year old son later grows up and he's telling the story as an adult, so it's not exactly the voice of a 12 year old, but it's from his perspective from then. So anyway, his mom and his, his mom and him go grocery shopping one day and they run into this man who um, needs help, he looks injured, and he asks them to give him a ride. They do and he br they bring him home and he stays with them for the weekend. Turns out he is in an escaped convict and he was in jail for murder, and he had escaped, and now he's staying with them. So it kind of goes from there, and then there's a bit of a romance. The, the mom kind of falls for this man, and the kid is kind of stuck watching this interaction. He doesn't really have an engaged father in his life, um, so he is kind of excited about this possibility of this man who starts fixing things around the house and cooking amazingly for them. And so, despite the fact that you're thinking, this man is a killer, why would you let him into your house, this woman seems to accept him with no questions. And that is the major thing about the movie that does not follow the book. I am not someone who usually hates a movie adaptation. And there's a lot of people that, if there's a movie made of their favorite book, they're not going to like it, <laughs> no matter what. I am not usually that person. I usually see them as two separate things and I'm totally fine with that. But the movie tried to, I think, water it down a bit and make the mom more identifiable because right from the get-go she is already pushing back and questioning and saying, we're not, we can't help you. And that never happens in the book. In the book she is immediately accepting, no questions asked. And in the movie he is a lot more forceful, threatening even, and it's just not like that in the book. And I feel like that changes the whole story and the whole motivation of the mom. And I just don't get why they did that. I think they were trying to make it um, more understandable, but I just loved that part about the book. and. I loved not knowing why she was so okay with this, and yeah, so I was really disappointed about that in the movie. The movie did have that same hot summer weekend feeling to it, which I did appreciate, and there was lots of quiet, beautiful moments. I, I definitely think that the book is the winner here, because I loved that not knowing um, what the motivations were, if there was something more to the story. And I also loved the narration of the 12 year old boy because he's kind of going through a coming of age himself, um, discovering sex and what that means. And they just didn't really go into that as much in the movie. They did some, but I think it was because it was too awkward that they just didn't go into that in the movie. The other thing about the movie is that it weaves this other storyline throughout the whole movie and it's kind of one of those things that it's hard to tell if someone just watching the movie who had never read the book had any idea of what that storyline was. I knew what it was pretty quickly because I had read the book, but that's not how they introduced that storyline in the book. In the book it's just told as, told as a story one day, and I just think that that was a better way of doing it, but I can see how they were trying to, you know, weave a different story in a movie setting that's kind of a better thing to do. 
And I mean, as usual, I think the movie didn't um, really capture the emotions of the boy or the mom as well as in the book, because obviously you, you can, you're getting that inner perspective in the book. So I gave the book a four out of five stars. I really, really enjoyed it. When I looked on Goodreads to see what other, what people didn't like about this book, some people didn't think it was very believable. Why would someone take someone home with them if they were from prison? So you do have to suspend a little bit of disbelief, but I think the whole time I was thinking that there must be a reason, and I was trying to figure that out, um, rather than just thinking like, why would someone do that? So I think if you're going into, if you can go into it and be okay with not knowing why she would do something like that, then I think you'll really like this book. The movie, however, I wouldn't recommend watching it if you haven't read the book. I think if you read the book, go ahead and watch the movie, but just know that it might put a little bit of a bitter taste in your mouth. But it is nice to see this on screen. So once I got past the beginning of how it all started differently in the movie, the rest of the movie I really did enjoy. The other thing is that the movie has a 30% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, which is pretty horrible. Clearly a lot of people didn't like it. It has a 3.5 um, star average rating on Goodreads, so I think a lot of people did like the book more than the movie, and, and I'm not alone here. So that's kind of my take on Labor Day by Joyce Menard. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've read this book or watched the movie and what you thought. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you later.